for step 53, attaching the headlights. Well, we've got our headlights right there, ready to be installed. And there's a couple of screws here. You can see the MA3s, they're a bit bigger tapping screw. They're gonna go through the body and into um, the front grill, which is this piece right here. Now, I saw that there's a decal that goes on the front and there's decals for the side markers. So during step 50, when we were doing the deckling, I did that already. So there is our Bronco decal in place. And of course, then we've got our side markers on either side. So that part's already done, and that wasn't too bad an install. It looks pretty cool, actually. And then, of course, we've got our um, basically bush bumper, I guess you could call it, um, which needs to be installed, too. And there's some really tiny screws right there that have to do, I mean, you can see against my finger, they're pretty small, um, that are going to run through this piece right here, the brace, and then go into the body and into the other side. Now, there's a couple of things. You'll notice that it says TS-14. I'm not painting these. I don't, I understand why you might want to paint them, but for me, if I'm going to be using this, I'm not too bothered that it's not a perfect black, and this looks pretty good to me. Um, so I'm not going to be painting those. Uh, so I'll set this up and we'll install all this. So first off, let's install the lights and then we can get our front grill on. So on the uh, body itself, we know that in terms of this design here, they need to go in. One is that way and one is that way. And then all of this, these, the rest of the cables are going to be backed up uh and attached to the light unit so knowing that we know that this is going to fit into here just like that and then there is a the larger screw which is going to go into this side and then on the bronco make sure that we have it the right way up you can see do, 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 that this has to fit into the hole. In fact, just before we do that, I'm going to try and get this into the front and make sure that's going in, yes? And there we go. That does look really, really cool. So, knowing that that is now on, let's turn this back over. And we know that this is going to go on this side and that screw is going into there. So, put that in place and grab our screwdriver We can screw it in. And there we go. So there is one of our headlights in place. That looks pretty cool. Just gotta get the other one on now. So same idea. Let's grab the headlight from the other side. We're now going to slide that over top, let that fit in and grab the other screw. It's got to fit in on that side, and we're going to screw this in. And there we go. 
Now the only weird thing is, uh, usually they'll, you know, even if you're just gonna screw it in, they'll have like double-sided tape or something to hold the that side down, like with the actual headlight, because really the only thing holding this on is um, these two screws. So this technically isn't even, see how it's not even really seated? I'm kind of surprised there isn't double-sided tape or something that you're supposed to use, but they're not showing that here at all. <clears throat> but anyway, there we go. There are our headlights. Sweet. I think that looks awesome. So now let's get the next part done. So you can see that we've got to get this brace and our bush guard in place. So this is going to sit this way. So you can see that's going to sit just like that. And in fact, just so that we've got something to work with, I'm going to stick this one part through. I see. Well, actually, let's do it this way. You know the bush guard is going to be facing down like that. So this is going to fit just like that on either side. And the question is, does that go in? Yes, it must. It does go in. So, in other words, this has to fit into the holes. Now, the question will be whether I attached or whether I um, basically use that reamer as to whether it is the holes are big enough and whether I have to make them bigger. I think I have to make them bigger. Um, so I'll come back in a second. So that was quick. I didn't have to make them bigger. I just needed to put a little bit of force on that to push it in. So pushing it in from the front, there is our bush guard in place. So again, let's go back to putting this on. So we're gonna grab this. You can see that the, the screw, little screw is on that side. This is gonna fit over top on either side. And we'll grab our screwdriver. And screw it in. Again, the detail of this Bronco is pretty cool. Let's grab the other screw. Put that in there. I don't know if you guys like the color curious to know the the actual box art color I find it drab which is why I knew that I didn't want to paint it the color the box art and I think based on what I have planned with colors I mean with for the accessories and how this is going to look when it's out there I just think the yellow pops so much better than that sort of drab bluey gray okay so, the grill, bush guard, front grill is all on, and our lights. So, that is just too cool. So now, step 53 is complete. We've done everything there. So, we're going to move on to, I'll move that stuff out of the way, on to 54, and we're going to install the tail lights.